So a group of us camped right up there instead of down here because we were worried about the dew being so bad in the morning. But it didn't matter because there was so much dew in our tents anyway and then it froze and yeah, I had ice chunks all over my tent and it was like rock hard when I was trying to put it away. So we tried. I'm freezing cold. You can probably tell my face is all red. I have my new gloves, but my hands are still really cold and my fingers hurt. But just hopefully gonna get moving and get warmed up a bit. And hopefully the sun comes up soon. I was, me and everyone else wanted to get up about an hour and a half before we actually did, but all of us had the same idea and our alarms went off and we definitely said, nope, nope, nope. Going back to sleep, it's too cold for this. Since I wasn't being very good at videoing in and before Trout Lake, um, yeah, I forgot to share that I'm like 95% positive some guy was going to try to rob me of my pack or something. So I stayed at this like Trout Lake Valley Inn and the post office is about like a mile from there. So you walk down like the main like highway to get there. Now it's like this stretches of mile is like farmland and there's medium traffic. But I'm walking down this like highway and I have my pack on. I don't have everything in it, um, but I brought it so I could put my boxes in it. And a van pulls over to the side of the road opposite of me and some guy gets out and just starts like w walking. It's just sketchy. He's just like gets out of the passenger side and starts like walking down the highway. And then he starts looking both ways, um, but not just to like cross the street, but to like check if there's like witnesses, like looking if cars are coming from far down. And I'm just, you know, I'm like keeping an eye on him, but I keep walking. And then all of a sudden he starts to cross the highway, but directly towards me. Cause we're like, like at a diagonal and he's just gunning for me and there's nothing around. There's some cows and just like farmland. And I immediately whip out my knife and he, <laughs> I just had the, you know, instincts like, this guy's already sketchy, being sketchy, looking sketchy. He's wearing like overalls with no shirt on. And he's like, you know, I don't know. And then, and then I pull out my knife and he like stops and he goes, he goes, so um, are you hiking through town or what? And I said something like, what does it matter to you? Cause I have to be aggressive in this situation. But then I keep walking and then a car comes or it's like, I can hear it coming from down the highway. And then he just like walks back to his side of the road and then runs to the van and him and the, the driver just drive off. I don't know. I don't know what his intentions are, were, but I was definitely not having it. I just like had this really bad feeling anyway. And then when he just started walking straight towards me, like, I don't know if they saw like some solo female walking with an expensive pack on, you know, and be like, oh, that'll be easy. Yeah, sorry, I'm a little too feisty for that. Not having it, it was really sketchy and I was, you know, a little shaken up, but then I got over it because I feel like I've been shaken up so much on this trail. I'm just like, oh, that's just a normal day. Anyway, not sure what his intentions were, but I can't imagine they were good. And even if they were harmless, like you guys especially should never just like 
aggressively walk towards a woman like that. It is just odd. So, yeah, I don't know what he was going to try to do, but this is my whole life on my pack. On my back, my pack. This is my whole life on my back. And I, was, I wasn't just going to, like, give it to him. No way. No way, no way. I came around that corner and it literally took my breath away. It was so beautiful. I am going to embrace these next two days of nice weather and incredible views <laughs> until it turns into a storm. <laughs> now that it's warmed up a bit, it's still like a little chilly, but perfect for when you're hiking up hills. <laughs> it's turning out to be one of the most beautiful days. And it's also so fun because I have about two weeks left or something and I just met all like six new hikers in Trout Lake, which is so crazy to me. I have, haven't met them or seen them once this whole trail. I think that's really cool. And to know that I'm not alone, <laughs> that there's a whole group of us with the same goal trying to get all of us and ourselves there. Whew. I always film this stuff when I'm going uphill. Drying everything out. The clouds are coming back in. Gosh, this is beautiful. Uh, having such a good day so far. I just left my little lunch spot. I ate so much. That was probably one of the biggest lunches I've had on trail yet. I ate a whole package of just chicken chunks. Already cooked, so it was like cold. But it was three and a half servings worth and I ate all of it with a lot of crackers and cheese and chips and some fruit gummies. <laughs> I'm really full. Oh, and a lot of uh, yogurt covered pretzels. Yeah, a lot of those. Strawberry flavored, the best. <laughs> and um, I was at, it was called Adams Creek and comments from other hikers like a couple weeks ago stated that it was a fairly dangerous water crossing. There are some really wobbly logs where people had to cross you know, like get in the, the creek and I just crossed it on some rocks really easily, which means the water level is very low compared to what it has been, which leads me to believe that the glaciers that the water's coming from are freezing and staying frozen longer. Ah, winter is definitely coming. I changed my top finally, but I'm still in my pants. <sighs> it's still kind of cold out. Like once you stop hiking, it gets really chilly. <sighs> Only two more weeks of this. Only two more weeks. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> There's some random trail magic. There's these chairs enjoying an apple, heating up some coffee. There's balloons. <laughs> We're about to have some legit coffee. Legit coffee though. And Trader, Mag Joe's. Trader Joe's. Magneto's rolling up. He's probably gonna be confused. I was confused. <laughs> 
But thank you to whoever put this here because this is really awesome. <laughs> is he not grabbing anything? He already had lunch. I, I did too. Are you not gonna grab anything? No. Why well, not? I don't think I'm gonna eat. It's, it's the coffee and I don't like coffee. You don't want a fresh apple? Fresh apples. I have to cook some. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Can blow you up apples. This is really depressing. We'll I'm gonna turn up. this off now. <laughs> what are you doing, Magneto? I'm cooking my apple. Why do you have to cook your apple? Because I'm allergic to birch pollen. Doesn't that suck everybody? <laughs> it really sucks. I got consoled by somebody <laughs> once consoled. because I was allergic to corn and she says, at least you're not the guy that can't eat fresh fruits and vegetables. <laughs> and you're like, wait, and that's, that's me. me. Yeah, that's me. All right, hopefully it works out for you. We want you to enjoy the trail magic. <laughs> Look how big it is. Then there's a little baby one. Look how big it is compared to my hand. There, there, mushroom. There, there. So many mushrooms. Some are destroyed. Looks like a heart. A black, dark, evil heart. All right, entering the most anticipated part of trail for me, Goat Rocks Wilderness. I am so excited. I probably won't really get into it, like into Goat Rocks and all the views until tomorrow. I have about like six more miles tonight or something and it's gonna be a lot of forest, I think. So tomorrow, I think is going to be one of the most amazing days of scenery for me, at least I hope. There's a storm rolling in on Friday. So I originally was gonna push all the way to Snoqualmie Pass. That's still my plan, but I have to see how bad the storm is gonna to be tomorrow. And if not, I'm gonna get off at White Pass and wait it out because it's supposed to last for at least three or four days, I think. Anyway, we're all hoping that the storm doesn't hit early and that we have a beautiful day in Goat Rocks tomorrow. However, there is a fire reroute and one of the ways to go, people keep talking about Knife's Edge. I got a text from Poodle Bee actually telling me knife, Knife's Edge is really sketchy. So if there's a storm or bad weather, do not go on it. And I, I really trust him. Uh, so if for him to say that, I was like, okay, dang. Yeah, he said there were some really sketchy parts and if there's ice on there, like it's very dangerous. And then I just keep hearing about it from other hikers. So if there's a storm tomorrow, We've been told to avoid Knife's Edge. And I think there's like a, another reroute for like animals, like pack mules and horses or something. So we'd have to take that one. This could be a rumor, but I think that one's like longer and less scenic. Anyway, so 
Either way, I'm so excited to see the goat rocks and hopefully the weather cooperates for us. I really hope so. Ugh. This is insane. Oh my goodness, I just got so pumped. <laughs> oh, just we came out of this like green tunnel and un unexpectedly it was just like magnificent. Oh man, tomorrow is gonna be probably my favorite day on trail. If the weather holds, I have a good feeling about it. I don't know if I'll be able to do a lot of miles though because I'll just be in awe the whole time. I have this feeling, I don't know.